Hey everyone, it's Tracy of Move Daily Fitness. Okay, we're in the car because we're doing a little field trip for today's video. I'm heading down to Rocky Mountain Fitness. That's my local fitness equipment store here in Kelowna. But I'm gonna show you my picks for all things fitness equipment if you are looking to make a great home gym. Of course, all of the links, all our show notes, everything that I've ordered and everything that I'm gonna show you is right in the description below. So feel free to click on those links and you can order it right from the comfort of your computer. <laughs> All right, well, I'm ready. Let's go check this out. So there's a lot of questions on about how to set up your own home gym. Well, I'm going to show you a few of the things that I think are necessities when you are wanting to set up your own uh, workout area in your home. Okay, so I'm gonna give you three levels because it doesn't really have to be expensive. You can start off very simply and I'm gonna show you all three levels of the things that I would choose that my clients have in their home gyms that make their workouts really great. Okay, the first thing I think that is really important is to have a set of dumbbells. We want to bear weights in our ligaments and joints, and so having dumbbells is going to do just that. It's the simplest way without a machine to bear weight on those muscles. So you can use something like a dumbbell tower. You don't have to go, you know, with a full rack, but uh, something small and like a tower would be really good for that. So this simple tower goes up to about 35 pounds there, and you can get something like that for $299. Okay, so that's pretty simple. You don't even have to have something that big. You could have something more simple and a little smaller like this as well. Depending on your ability, what you lift, you could always add in some other dumbbells too. If you th think you're gonna go up to about the 25s, 30s, or 40s, then you can just grab individual dumbbells. Now to make things a little simpler, you can buy these interlocking dumbbell sets. So this is the smaller one. It goes up to 33 pounds inclusive, so you just, take out the little latch and adjust it to how you want it. You can get bigger ones. This set goes up to 70 pounds. So as you can see, those are far more uh, space savers than a bigger set, but they have some drawbacks as well, just in terms of being flexible with the wrist and the fact that you have to change them as you're using them. So if you're doing a circuit set, they may not be as convenient as dumbbells. My level one would also include a variety of bands. I really like this red size. That's your basic medium band size. So that's a nice one. You can do lots of exercises with that from shoulder presses to squat and rows. It's a very great piece of equipment to have in a home gym. In terms of bands as well, I love these bands. You've seen me use these bands before and I have links right below in the description where you can order these bands online. So a variety of those is a great thing to add to your home gym. Okay, looking at a level two gym, so I'm gonna add a few pieces of equipment to this gym. I like my dumbbells, I like my bands, but I'm also gonna add a few things. So you might add a kettlebell. These are great for so many different exercises. And if you're only in the market for one, I'd probably buy anywhere between a 10 pound and a 15 pound one. Those seem to be a good range for a multitude of exercises. Another level two piece of equipment might include these other thicker bands, these stretch bands. These ones are a little bit more difficult to utilize in terms of their strength, so it makes the exercises a bit harder. Uh, a little bit more sturdy, of course, with this coating around it, but then you get up in price a little bit too. But these are great. You can swing them around a rafter, do some lap pull downs, squats, um, and lots of different exercises with this style of band. Now, if you have a piece of wood in your ceiling that can handle TRX, this is certainly another piece of equipment I would set in my level two. It adds a nice variety to your workouts. You can do lots of um, exercises that strengthen core, as well as legs, arms, chest, everything, right? So a TRX is certainly a piece that I would include in level two. The Bozu used to be a real hot item, but I really actually still like it in terms of the flexibility that you have to use it in different exercises. You can lie down on it and use it as a support system for your different exercises. You can stand on it. Um, you can use it as a piece of equipment to do a burpee on. So there's lots of variety that you can do with the Bozu. Um, add cardio moves. So I really like this as a level two item as well. Having a variety of medicine balls in your arsenal is great as well. 
Again, adding that different dimension. You could do push-ups, single-sided push-ups, one hand on the ball, one hand on the floor. Uh, lots of ab exercises you can do with medicine balls, as well as shoulder presses, reverse lunges, anything to add a little extra tension and a little variety to your workouts. Okay, for my level three gym, I would have all of what we've already seen. Your dumbbells, your bands, your Bozu, your TRX, but that would also include this piece of equipment. Now, if you can afford a trainer of some sorts, I have a few clients who have this exact piece right here, the Inspire trainer, functional trainer, and it's so great. It does so many things. It comes with a variety of these attachments here. So you can do chest flies, chest presses, squats, lat pull down, I mean there's just so many things you can do. Chin ups, tricep press downs, bicep curls. Really the variety is endless on this. And again, it just adds a different dimension to your workouts and really kicks things up in terms of having some eccentric work on those muscles too by using the pulleys. So another great piece of equipment for your home gym. Okay, I'm gonna have where you can purchase all this equipment linked in the comments below. So if you're interested in setting up your own home gym for this holiday season or for January, as everyone will be, then make sure you check out the show notes below. All right, as always, it's your turn to go and move daily. Okay, here's a new piece of equipment out. This is a Bowflex M7 Max Trainer. So how cool is this? Kind of a mix between an elliptical and a stepper but focusing on interval training. And of course, as we know, that is the fastest way to burn body fat.